Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you. Amit Shah and Rahul Gandhi hit campaign trail in India's poll bound Karnataka. Threats, attacks against journalists jumped by more than 60% in Pakistan. And death zone queues feared on Everest as Nepal grants record climbing permits. And now for all the details. As poll fever grips India's southern Karnataka state, ruling BJP President J.P. Nadda released the party's poll manifesto on Monday. The vision document includes the implementation of Uniform Civil Code in Karnataka and also promises freebies including milk and cooking gas cylinders. India's Home Minister and senior BJP leader Amit Shah also held a series of grand road shows in Karnataka on Monday while thousands of supporters gathered swaying the BJP flags. आने वाले चुनाव में अगर आप नागेश जी को वोट देकर यहां से विधायक बनाते हो तो 2024 में मोदी जी का प्रधानमंत्री बनना तय Meanwhile, opposition Congress leader Rahul Gandhi also held a public gathering in Tumakuru district. Apart from the BJP and the Congress, the regional Janata Dal Secular is the main contender in Karnataka. The voting will be held on May 10th and the results are expected on the 13th of May. And India's Foreign Minister S.J. Shankar, who was on a visit to the Dominican Republic while elaborating on India's priority of cooperating with its neighbors, said that while India has seen a dramatic expansion in connectivity, contacts in cooperation across the region, the exception to this has been Pakistan, in view of the cross-border terrorism that it supports. He said China also falls into a somewhat different category because of the ongoing boundary dispute. Given its size and economic strength, it is very much for the collective benefit that India takes a generous and non-reciprocal approach to cooperation with smaller neighbors. It has seen a dramatic expansion in connectivity, in contacts, in cooperation across the region. Uh, the exception to this, of course, is Pakistan in view of the cross-border terrorism that it supports. The remarks came in the backdrop of the Punch terror attack claimed by a Pakistan-based terror group in which five Indian soldiers were killed last month. The issue is also likely to cloud the visit of Pakistan's Foreign Minister Bilawal Bhutto Zardari for the SEO meet in India's Goa later this week. Well, after former Premier and Opposition PDI Chief Imran Khan demanded the dissolution of Pakistan's National Assembly by May 14th to pave the way for a successful outcome of talks, PM Shehbaz Sharif's government has termed his demand as impractical. Ruling PMLN party leader Ehsan Iqbal warned Imran Khan and his party will be the ultimate loser if the negotiations failed as the polls can be delayed for a year. Iqbal said first condition of talks was no preconditions, but Khan is so desperate that he wants his way or highway. However, PTI senior leader Fawad Chaudhary on Twitter said his party wants the success of talks with the government. But if the negotiations fail, PTI will not sit silently, he added. Chaudhary also called on the people to prepare for a movement. An incidents of press freedom violations which include threats, arrest and attacks against journalists saw a 63% increase over the past 11 months in Pakistan. A report by media right watchdog Freedom Network has revealed that at least 140 such cases were reported in the country between May 2022 and March 2023. It notes that the country's media environment has become riskier and more violent in recent months. It highlights political parties and state functionaries as the source of threat for the journalist. Since 2003, 93 journalists have been killed in Pakistan. Earlier, the reporters without borders, while highlighting killing of Arshad Sharif under mysterious circumstances in Kenya, had stated that Pakistani journalists and dissidents are not safe from threats even outside the country. 
Indicating a sign of relief for the crisis battered economy, Sri Lanka's key inflation rate eased to 35.3% in April from 50.3% in March. The Census and Statistics Department in a statement said the Colombo Consumer Price Index reflected a reduction in food inflation to 30.6% in April from 47.6% in March, while non-food inflation reached 37.6%. Sri Lanka has been struggling with soaring prices for more than a year. The inflation rate was blunted by reduction in fuel prices, lower demand and easing global commodity prices. Experts project inflation to decline to about 14 to 15 percent by June. Earlier, Central Bank Governor Nandalal Virasinghe had said a favorable base effect would kick in from May onwards, with inflation projected to hit single digits by the end of December. And a record number of mountaineers expected on Mount Everest during the current spring climbing season has sparked fears of a traffic jam when teams make their final ascent through the death zone to the summit of the world's tallest peak. Overcrowding and high numbers of relatively inexperienced climbers were cited as key factors when nine people died high up on the Everest in May 2019. So far, Nepal has handed out a record 463 permits to climb Everest between March and May, beating 2021's 409. Nepal is often criticized for allowing anyone who can pay the $11,000 permit fee. Yubraj Katiwara, Director of Tourism Department, rebuffed criticism and said a team of doctors and government officials would be stationed at the base camp for the first time. Home to eight of the world's 14 highest peaks, climbing is a key earner for Nepal, where about 500,000 people are employed in tourism. So far this year, Nepal has granted permits to 1,046 climbers for 24 peaks, earning the government $5.6 million. And a grand elephant parade offered a visual treat to thousands of devotees who gathered at the annual Thrissurpuram festival in southern India over the past weekend. Take a look. Thousands of devotees gathered on Sunday to watch elephants and priests take part in the Thrissurpuram, an annual Hindu festival in India's southern Kerala state. Decorated elephants paraded at the Vadakunathan temple as priests played musical instruments and devotees cheered as they witnessed the grand festival. King Saktan Thampuran of the 18th century Kochi Kingdom is believed to have commenced this festival that transcends religion, caste and community linkages. See, it's one of the best festivals in the world where you can see everything like you have the best fireworks the group of elephants coming, uh, the best chanda, best music, and best crowd, best people, everything comes together from Trishupuram. Trishupuram is celebrated on the day when the moon rises with the Puram star as per the Malayalam calendar month of Medham. It generally falls between April and May. The festival is especially popular for the elephant parade as tuskers with the traditional caprisons offer a visual treat to the devotees. Well, that's all in tonight's edition. We'll see the same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.